It has literally taken a lifetime to write the book, An Oral History of the Museum of Fine Arts. Um, I worked there as an intern, uh, starting, it was my first job after graduating from Brandeis in 1963. I spent two and a half years in the basement of the Egyptian department. Um, I later rose from the basement, so to speak, so I've always said that I know the museum from the ground up, or actually from subterranean up and uh, interviewed virtually all of the directors, starting with Perry Rathbone through currently Matthew Teitelbaum. Um, this book uh, unearths a lot of the secrets of the museum in terms of um, the background about acquisitions, some uh, world treasures, uh, uh, particularly those from Japan and the Orient and Egypt and the classical world of Greece and Rome, and the question of why they're here. Um, the, I put those questions to the museum directors and got very interesting answers, particularly from uh, Jan Fontaine, then the former uh, curator of the Asiatic Department. Um, in more recent years, the museum has been mired in controversies regarding um, racism, uh, anti-Semitism, and I addressed that with all of the individuals I met in the book that included curators, museum directors, uh, trustees, um, outsiders, historians, and other, other journalists. So um, it's the first, it's only the second book that is a comprehensive of the Museum of Fine Arts since the centennial history by Walter Weir Whitehill in 1970. So um, this is uh, only the second book that treats one of the great museums in Western culture.